It's Halloween Hockey Horror Show night here at the Brayhead Arena where the clan take on the Dundee Stars in the Challenge Cup. Welcome to Clan TV. Now, the clan sit top of Group A in the Challenge Cup with 12 points, whilst the Dundee Stars sit second from bottom with just six points. The last time these two teams met, the tensions flared over before they'd even started the game, so it could well be very feisty. The clan fans themselves will be hoping that this goes some way to erase the ghost of last night's performance in Belfast, a heavy defeat. Let's hope that tonight could be the treat that overturns that trick. Clangus is up for it. Let's have a Halloween hockey show. And as the puck is about to drop here in this Challenge Cup game plan, of course, should they win tonight, that will confirm their group and your top status that these stars the hey, can't do much about their position in the coverage of the game. It's Craig Anderson, good to have you, Craig. Thanks very much. Yeah, another big night here at Brayhead Arena. The, the crowd still coming into the arena as the game starts off. Dundee in red shooting from left to right. Has the makings of a fascinating game, this one. Yeah, and the crowd already making a great noise. Oh, as a shot, first shot comes in for the stars. Kyle Jones has to think quick. Yeah, Jeff Hutchins making his 500th Elite League appearance tonight for Dundee Stars. He's played for Edinburgh Capitals, Sheffield Steelers, Belfast Giants, Newcastle Vipers and Coventry Blaze in his time here in the UK. A fantastic achievement. He's the third import in the Elite League to do so. More recently, Danny Stewart of Five Flyers achieved that very same thing. He has an opportunity now with the clock! Fantastic work! And it's Davis! Moments after taking a bit of a hit from player coach Jeff Hutchins. He gets his revenge in the best way. Ben Davis, wonderful finish, great play for the clan. In the right place, at the right time, Davis right in the middle, right in front of Mark Chevery's crease. Clan now pushing through, it's again, oh, Matt Keith looks to turn it over. Chasing it down there, it's the Stars now, pushing out wide on the ice. McKenzie in the centre, shapes up, here's an opportunity. Well, it's good defence in the end, but the opportunity was there. Puck comes out, the bounce is loose. Jamie French, great strength from him. Holds on to the puck, looks for the option, it's, it's there! Captain Keith to the rescue! There is there, another one, great play from Jamie French on this left side, cut it back. Keith was right there to sweep it in from close range. Another deserved goal from Brayhead Clan. Here we are again, Derek Rail at the face-off. He's had an active start as well. Matt Keith couldn't get his stick free there. Grimshaw and him tussle as the Stars get away. Don Glasky pushes it out wide on the ice. Shot comes in from Isaacs. And it had a real sting to it there. Kyle Jones had to think quick. Hutchins there makes a mistake, which allows a turnover now. Matt Keith opens up. Oh, and that's quite, that is a huge penalty check there. Grimshaw pushing on Keith now as well. And it's Fitzgerald. Screwing up, I think that's Grimshaw on the far side there. Yep, as blatant a penalty as you'll see all season from James Isaacs there. We don't want Fitzgerald taking penalties though for... All right, he's having a word there with Hutchins. Fitzgerald is pretty much having a word with pretty much all the D's. Even here we are, Plumpton's had a... has come onto the ice. He's looking to defend his coach. The officials just keeping Fitzgerald here away. Hey, hell there. Fitzgerald really taking it to the next level here now. Colin Plumpton, uh, all sorts. Fitzgerald certainly geared up for something there. I think that's ice hockey language for calling them chicken, going by that uh, reaction. Oh. The fans are certainly loving that. Well, have you ever seen anything like it? The officials look fairly incensed with Fitzgerald here as the clan fans are on their feet. Well, the Dundee Stars look absolutely furious. Yeah, they're not happy with that at all. Stefan Meyer opts to take it all the way around, all the way around the world from Stefan Meyer. Puts the brakes on, cuts in, the puck comes in. Juggling there from Chris Frank. He pushes, creates a bit of space for his captain, Keith. There, and that was a mistake as Chris Frank will not be allowing that. It was Chris Frank raining blows, I think, on Brad Plumpton from the look of it. Well, I think After Plumpton... he boarded Matt Keith there, Chris Frank was right there. He got tore straight in. I think actually Plumpton was there just holding on to Chris Frank. And Chris Frank was raining the punches down. 
In fact, right, see the Stars play out. Chris Wright receiving a round of applause, though. Check this team. Plumpton will be taking a seat as well. Scott Arson now. Still with Arson. Trim. Trim, Real pushes into the centre. He uses Salters. Salters again! That was in! Surely in! And it's given! It looked good to me, I have to say. And Chivalry has remonstrated all he wants, but it was a lovely improvised shot there from Lee Salters. He went as high as you can go in the tightest angle. But the referee saw him mark Chivalry where he saw the puck hit the net. Curious though the light didn't go on behind the goal though, but the referee still given the goal. 3.15 left on the power play. Clan have got that third goal. Dundee not happy. That's the kind of break that's gone against them this season. Arguably that's one of the reasons why seven games without a win, they're just not getting that little bit of lady luck, that little rub of the green. They'll be unhappy with this. They might even feel this has killed the game off for them. Well, you can understand why the, the Stars players are remonstrating with the officials. The light obviously didn't go off, but I mean, it did look like it was over the line to me, so that's all that matters. The official gives the call. Well, you have to say, for the position we are sitting in, it's hard to, to call that from here. You've got to give the referee the benefit of the doubt. He's going to chop oh, that off. It off. Well, he's a braver man than me, Craig, I tell you that. Opportunities there, Clan, just getting it clear. Click, true to his name, but now it's Keith who's being quick. Captain Keith, and it just comes off the skate of Stefan Meyer. Just got away from him there, yeah, great he'll play. he himself up over that, but it was a lovely breakaway. Great play from Keith up the inside right. Squared it for Meyer. Just looking for that little touch just to control. We have a oh, fight here. Wow. Hutchinson, Derry Real. They were having a chat just a moment before. You wonder if this is what they talk about. It's the coach versus Derek Real. It's curious that none of his players have engaged in any of that. The player coach now getting into a scrap with Derek Real. Real goes in, but it's, it's Real. Right hand, right hand, right hand comes in. Looking to pull the shirt over the stars. Coach's head. Trying to get that left free. Real stays up. What a wonderful contest there. Wonderful fight for both players. It went one way, it went the other. That's a hard one to go. Real screaming the plaudits. Quite an even one there from him. Ryan looks for options there. Finds it. Clan just trying to keep these stars in the corner. Keep it squeezed now. They've got 50 seconds left of what is now the Stars power play. Quick, comes back to the point. Fires over, there's an option. It's still there. It could go anywhere. Sticks flying, everyone. Pretty much every play with a stick's got it in there. Looking to put it over here now. Even the officials went there. Wonderful work from Kyle Josie had to be tough in there. Comes in again. Way to the post. And they are furious now. The penalty's gonna come in the end. Matt Ryan very unhappy with what happened there. You couldn't quite see what happened in front of the goal. There was all kinds of bodies everywhere. Derek Rail, as the puck comes into the corner, it's Lee Salters. Plumpton there now, this could be another source of agitation. Plumpton's banging right up against Salters. Both men in the six foot four plus mark. Don Klaski, Plan returned to full strength now. Find themselves on the power play for the next one minute 20. Puck comes in, lovely stuff. Scotty, Scotty Pitt! Wonderful work from him. He was onto it. Kavanaugh placed a lovely little puck into the danger zone. Scotty Pitt was on it, one thing on his mind, tucking it past Chevrolet. A one, one three. A wonderful finish from Bray Headland. Kavanaugh seeing Pitt coming in on the inside right. Pitt taking it on, great coolness and composure. Slotting the puck past Mark Chevery. It's got to be game over for Dundee Stars now. Clan leading by three goals to nil. Quite a night for Ryan Finnerty's men. The perfect antidote for the 4-1 defeat in Belfast last night. And it looks as though that top spot in the Challenge Cup group is assured. And Captain Keith with a heavy hit on the boards on Plumpton. To the delight of the Clan fans. Good work from Keith, holding Plumpton at bay. Plumpton with a, certainly hit a stick off the back of Keith's leg there. Plumpton, another big push on Keith. Keith can get his vengeance with a goal. It doesn't quite work. Keith gets a heavy smash on Plumpton. Surely the hook there. It'd be unlike Keith to drop the gloves, but he takes a punch. 
to the face. Plumpton's going to find himself pinned. Isaac's in the corner now. Derek Rail after a punch in here. Yeah, a few bodies in there tussling. Plumpton, I don't know, it just looks as though Plumpton's keen to start something. He, he's done it a couple of times earlier in the game. Yeah, it's funny now that Fitzgerald's off the ice. He's yeah, happy to start something against the clan captain. It was always coming that. There was bits and bobs left all over. Certainly a whack I saw at the back of the legs of Keith. And it will be Plumpton. Fantastic noise from the clan. <laughs> the clan DJ. Well, it's all kicking off. Just at a shot there in the uh, Dundee Stars penalty box. He is absolutely livid with some of the treatment he's getting from the clan DJ and the fans. Just 13 seconds left here now. Dundee yeah, had to play gunning for it. They look determined to get something on the score sheet inside the last 10 seconds. It doesn't look likely as the puck comes all the way down to Chevrolet. Two seconds, one, and it is Clan three. Dundee stars nil. Clan top of Group A in the Challenge Cup, and rightfully so. And it's another shutout for Kyle Jones. That's five this season. Another great season. Another great game, rather. For Kyle Jones in Clan's call. It's his second shutout against Dundee Stars as well, which will delight him and delight the team. Dundee Stars, well, I'm very disappointed in their performance tonight. When you see the team that won the Gardner Conference last year, it's night and day to the team Jeff Hutchins has this year. And discipline caused them at times. We had Clan weren't any angels either, certainly, although one or two calls were certainly questionable in my opinion. But they've got the job done, they've got the three goals tonight. They're top of Challenge Cup Group A, and it's another good night here at Brayhead Arena for Ryan Finnerty and the men. As you said, we're playing shorthanded for large periods tonight, and, but how good was it to see how successful the guys can do that in the end under difficult circumstances, down to three guys often on the ice? Yeah, no, our, our penalty kill hasn't, hasn't been great all season, so it was, it's, you know, it's been a silver lining. It's nice to, to, uh, to keep the puck out of your net on the, on the PK, and, you know, we changed a few uh, minor things up, and, you know, but ultimately your best penalty killer is your goalie, and, and Jones is our best player every night. And, you know, another shutout, and you can sit here and talk for the next half hour about how great he is and how, how great he's played. And he, uh, he gives us a chance every night, and, you know, more, than, more times than not, we just need to score one goal, and we're, uh, we're on the right track. But, uh, no, it's, it was, a good, it was a, good, a good result and a good, you know, we finished top of the Challenge Cup group now, and, and we kind of wait and see who we get to, who we get to play, and, and we go uh, back in league and conference action tomorrow. Yeah, plenty of physicality out there tonight. Were you expecting that tonight? Bearing in mind, obviously, the last game. Uh, games can go either way, right? Uh, but always going to be a physical game. So, uh, yeah, I was definitely expecting a little bit of physicality. And obviously, I like, I, I like that style of play. It's always good. Cool. How hard for you has it been sitting on the bench there? I mean, obviously, you were in Belfast, standing on the bench there at your back. Has it been tough wanting to get in? Yeah, it's not fun at all sitting on the bench because obviously you see the boys and you want to support them on the ice and whatnot. But uh, finally, I'm back in the lineup and it just feels good.